So there's a pretty incredible announcement I have to make at the end of this video. So if you want to see it, you're going to have to watch the whole video and stick around. Or you could just fast forward through the video. But you should watch the whole video. video. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm going to go over uh, some of the details about this homemade oscillating drill powered spindle sander. That's a mouthful. So in interest of really keeping this build inexpensive, um, I found these vinyl uh, worm drive and worm wheel on Amazon for a garage door opener that have a, they have a half inch ID which makes it really easy to you know find the rod and, and uh, bolts to uh, put this whole thing together. Uh, what I'd, I'd set up a couple of testing devices and what I found was that if these are really tight, if the worm wheel and worm drive were really tight up against each other, uh, they got they wore a little faster. Uh, so what I did is I set up a second, another testing device and gave them a little space like this. And then I ran that device about 45 minutes to, to an hour over the, every day for the last six weeks. And um, the, the wear has been really insignificant. So, I, you know, this is not a maintenance-free machine. These will eventually, the worm drive and worm wheel will eventually need to be replaced. That's all there is to it. But, you know, as much as I'm going to use this thing, I'm probably, you know, I'm guessing every year and a half or so I'll end up having to replace those. And at $10 a piece, it only takes a few minutes to replace these. Not a big deal. So depending on the, you know, like I use this nine and a half amp drill, Hitachi drill for most of my jig builds. Uh, it's got, it's nine and a half amp, it's a pretty strong motor, runs around 800 RPM, so it works out pretty well. Um, to attach this, uh, because these have these uh, metal mounting holes, this is a cast metal, so I can secure a 3 8 bolt right to that, and that makes it pretty easy to mount this to most things. So to secure it, I just uh, pre-drill a a hole in a piece of plywood, run my 3 8 screw in there. I say pretty easy, but with this thing turning about, it's a little tricky. And then I'm just going to uh, attach the plate with some screws here. Now this is, a, I, I didn't shim it out quite right, so it's going to be a little off-center, which is going to create a little wobble in my, in the whole assembly, but no big deal. So when I drilled the hole, I was a little off center and um, or off kilter. So I went with the Nick Ferry lathe setup, drill press lathe setup, and the uh, John Heinz lathe tool. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Well, the chisel did a really good job of cutting that out, and this little setup is uh, working pretty good. The one thing I noticed is you really got to tighten everything down in there really well, but um, it works great. Thanks for the tip, guys.
So it might be hard to see, but I have, um, that's just a piece of a drill bit. I would actually cut this through hole with this drill bit and then cut it off. And um, now I'm going to slide my sleeve over the top of that, but I want to cut a little groove out of the top of this and on both sides. So when I sleeve it over the top of it, it sits over the top of that bar, which will keep it from, you know, spinning freely on the, um, the shaft. Okay, so now for the special announcement. Myself, Nick Ferry, April Wilkinson, and Matt Cremona for the last few months have been working on a really cool idea for WIA Woodworking in America 2015. We're renting a booth there where we've and we've invited many video creators to join us at that booth so we can we can meet the people who are interested in meeting us, meet the subscribers, but really more than that, to push the online video movement. You know, we really want to push the, the, the woodworking, the maker community to the public. And there's a lot of people out there who still don't know that we have all this free content for them online. So that's really what this is about. You will not believe the lineup of people that are going to be at this booth. Video creators, artists, woodworkers. It's absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure there's never been a meeting of this kind of talent in one place before, ever. And if you want to see who's going to be there, as of right now, we'll be adding more people to the roster. Um, head over to videowoodworkers.com. We set up a website where we can update information uh, as, as things progress along. So make sure you go check that out. Videowoodworkers.com, link in the description below. You can get more details about what's going on. Really excited to bring this to you, and we hope that many of you can join us at WIA. All right, thanks for watching. Anyone interested in building one of these, I have um, in the description box below, there's a set of plans. There's also a set of plans on my website. That link will also be below. The plans have um, all the details on where to find the hard-to-find components, the bearings and the, uh, the worm drive and worm wheel. So if you're worried about that, there's... Uh, links there so you can find it pretty easy. So thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to get back to our normal, normal, our normal craziness. Um, no more plans for a while. Just going to have some fun building some stuff. So you can expect lots of cool stuff coming down the pipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.